Hello everyone! We are doing a dual live today. We're live on Instagram and on Facebook. So feel free to chit chat with us on either platform. Yes, we are trying to make sure that we monitor the comments on um, both Instagram and Facebook. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, definitely feel free to comment and um, we will try to answer your question for sure. So happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> happy Monday. Um, it's been a minute since we've been on live. It has been a couple weeks at least, right? Yeah, yeah it's been weeks. <laughs> it's been weeks, but we're back. And um, in the meantime, we know that um, Emily and Megan did some fantastic lives for you all. So they were keeping you company while we were gone. Yes, we are happy to be back. <laughs> Our screen in front of us just went blank, so <laughs> that's always fun. Um, but um, so while we were gone, um, Kennedy spent some time up in customer service. I did. And I have been manning some of the comments um, coming in on TikTok and Instagram, and we got a lot of questions about our mystery box. Yes, I even met a few of you guys, a few of our viewers um, throughout my days recently working up in customer service, and even I speaking to you guys. Um, I got a lot of questions about when's our next unboxing, when when are we doing our next mystery box. Um, That's right. So hopefully today's live is going to answer some of those questions for you guys. <laughs> yes, and we also got some questions about um, more craft with us. So yeah. we did, if you're not familiar, we do a mystery box and within our mystery box, we try to include some projects that we can do with you all um, via the Facebook Lives. So um, we also have a regular mystery box that comes out every month, and uh, we got a, we are now getting a bunch of questions about when are you going to do a craft with us for the regular mystery boxes, which is something we hadn't really thought of. So now um, we are definitely headed down that track. So, yeah, so um, if you'd like to see that, let us know. Uh, we want to say hey to everyone who's joining. Um, over here we've got Mandy saying good Mandy. afternoon, ladies. And Penny says, hello, everyone. Hi, hello. Penny. Tiffany asks, when was your box? Um, so the one that we're going to be unboxing today is our March mystery box. Like Marina said, we release a new mystery box at the beginning of each month. The contents will change inside each month, um, and they sell out pretty quickly. So I don't know. I checked today to see if they were sold out, but I don't know if they sold out today, Megan, or if they sold out a couple days ago. Yeah, they sell... They sold out. Why can't I speak right now? Um, <laughs> it's like three days, right? Yeah, in like two and a half, three days. That's yeah. awesome. So this is a hot item here. I know that we've gotten a lot of great reviews with each mystery box that we do. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for April's mystery box. You can sign up to be notified when we launch that on our website. So keep an eye out for that. Yes. And hey to everybody over at Instagram. I see a lot of highs coming through. So hey. Um, yeah, so if you're just joining us, we are talking about our mystery boxes. We have two mystery boxes here at Brilliant Vinyl. We have our monthly mystery box, and then we have the Kennedy and Marina mystery box, which is more of a seasonal box right now. So, so we the did last one, one we did was kind of seasoned around Valentine's Day, right. and we had a lot of fun with that. Yes, and we had um, a bunch of people who uh, craft with us we did two craft with us nights and we had a bunch of people to craft with us and then post their finished products in our Facebook group and we all got a big kick out of that so we're working on our spring box right now so we promised that we would um, release one during the spring and we are working really hard to make sure that there are some all-inclusive crafts in there so that you have everything that you need yes. and then um, some additional craft ideas and then we will um, work with those on a live also so I think this one's gonna be a pretty hefty box we've got a yeah. lot going on so <laughs> I'm excited with we our spring do. box and we keep trying to add more we need to you know we, we need to calm down a little bit and just make sure that we um, get you guys some fun stuff but we're working on our spring box now and we hope to have that finished soon. And then as soon as those go on the website, last time we released, what, 100? Yes. It was 100 and they sold out um, just? A day and a half. Day and a half, two days, something like that. So 
This time we've, uh, we went from 100 last time. This time they have talked us up to 125. So <laughs> hopefully the people that were saying before that they didn't get a chance to get the box will get one this time. We're gonna post as soon as they launch on our website, mm -hmm. but you know, our monthly mystery boxes sell out in under three days. Our mystery boxes, um, well, the last one, the only one so far, seem to do really well also, so. Um, Denise asks, will you get the StarCraft heat press? It's funny that you say that. We were just talking about that before we went live. So um, are you talking about, we have a couple of different StarCraft. We have the turquoise eight in one, and we posted a video about that not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And then we have the mint clamshell. Which is the one that we use very frequently here on our lives that we do with you guys. Um, so yeah, we use the clamshell 15 by 15 mint heat press. Um, and those should be in stock. I know we, we placed an order for them and they should be in stock hopefully yep. within the next couple of weeks, if not sooner. Um, and then we recently restocked in our StarCraft 8 and 1 heat presses and those have yet, to, <laughs> those have sold out once again. Yes, in just um, a couple days. Yeah. So the heat presses, the StarCraft heat presses are pretty popular. Mm -hmm. I am told that the mint, um, there is reason to believe that the mint will be back in stock soon um, but as soon as we get confirmation on it um, we'll definitely let you know when they're back in stock but we always tell everyone if there's an item on our website that you're looking for and it is out of stock please subscribe to the email notifications because yes. as soon as we put it back in stock you're going to get an email that says hey the item you've been waiting on is back in stock and then you can uh, go to the website and purchase it and when it comes to those heat presses and the mystery boxes and very, very popular items, grab bags, as soon as we post them, they start flying off the website. So always look on our Facebook page and in our Facebook groups. We try to cover on Instagram and TikTok also when we have things like that back in stock. But That ties in perfectly to Tiffany's question. She says, will we get an email when your mystery box is available? Yes, so you can still go to that product page for the Kennedy and Marina Mystery Box and you'll see an option to enter in your email address so that you can be notified when we launch our spring box. As well with our monthly box, it is currently sold out, the March Mystery Box sold out, but you can go ahead and sign up to be notified when April's launches as well. And just know already that the April Mystery Box is going to come out at the very beginning of April. So mm -hmm. it could be anywhere in the first few days of April. So um, you can anticipate that one a little bit also. Yes, Roberta says waving. Hello, hey, Roberta. Roberta. And I think I missed a comment up here. Randy says, I was getting married, so I missed out on this month. <laughs> well, you congratulations. Have, you have the perfect excuse. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Congratulations. Definitely. Congratulations. That's awesome. Um, and okay. our gal, Denise, she specified mint. Mint. Okay, so Denise, stay posted to our website. Mm -hmm. As soon as we have them in stock, we're going to post them. Um, I think we have some pretty, some pretty um, good things coming up for our website. So just okay. keep checking back. Yes. It's always good to check back, sign <laughs> we, up for those notifications. Yes, but we, we do let you all know. As soon as we know, we try to let y'all know. Mm -hmm. Whether it's an email, whether it's a Facebook post, an Instagram post, we really, really try. <laughs> Tiffany said, I just tried, LOL. It said, I'm already subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> then you're ahead of the game, Tiffany. <laughs> But yeah, you can always check back to our social media platforms as well, because like she mentioned, we are going to try and post that on our social media platforms just to give you guys a double heads up when we get those back on our website. So, so without further ado, <laughs> we got messages. When are you going to do an unboxing for March's uh, mystery box? And I've seen a couple. Actually, we were tagged in one on Instagram and TikTok, and then I saw one in our Facebook group, so some of you may be already familiar with the items that are in here. We didn't watch them, because we, we like for it to be a surprise when we do our unboxing yes. as well, so we can get the full experience. So we know exactly what goes into the Kennedy and Marina mystery box, mm -hmm. because we pack it all up in there, but when it comes to the monthly mystery box, that is now all Megan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's the only one of us in marketing that knows what's in this box, so. Uh, let's do it. Let's of start. course, let's um, 
Oh. Let's just appreciate the beautiful sticker. Can we once take a again. moment for the sticker? In case you guys forgot <laughs> how lovely it is. It's just so cute. Top secret. What's in the mystery box? I like this sticker. This I'm more partial to this sticker than I am our sticker. <laughs> they forced me to put our sticker on the box, y'all. I'm telling you. Okay, we can do a new shoot eventually. Okay. <laughs> okay. Roberta says, uh oh, it's all on Megan's shoulders now. LOL. No pressure. I know, <laughs> Megan. I'm trying to get April's put together too. Yep, she was so. working on it today. <laughs> She's already working on April's. Well, Roberta says, I cut my sticker out so I could keep it. LOL. That's, That's so, so sweet. So I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. all right. What do you get when you get? If you've never ordered a brilliant vinyl mystery box before, then this is the perfect live for you because we are going to show you exactly the presentation and everything. Definitely. I wish Instagram could see a little bit better, but we'll just show you guys each thing as we're pulling it out. Um, so the first thing you see is your table of contents. Yes. <laughs> I'm never going to live that one down. <laughs> So there's our table of contents, and we've got some wonderful packing materials in here. And right off the bat, I'm seeing some beautiful adhesive vinyl. Love it. So let's see what's in here. And you'll see that we have um, we have the heat transfer vinyl and the adhesive vinyl rolled up separately with a sticker on the bag as well to um, help any new crafters or just to help separate your items and keep everything neat and organized for you guys. So let's see. I'm going to move this out of the way just for a moment. Let me have that table of contents. There go. Thank you. So if you've already received a mystery box, um, let us know in the comments what was your favorite item in there. That way we always know some good things to include because we have so many different size options, color options, and when you all tell us what you love inside the mystery box, then that just helps us to um, think about the future and plan for the future. Roberta says, I cut the Kennedy slash Marina sticker out too and put it with the picture you ladies included. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh my That's goodness. Awesome. I'm glad. I mean, we, we put a lot of, Megan and Emily always put a lot of work into their mystery boxes. Reena and I put a lot of work into our mystery boxes. So I'm glad that you guys appreciate it and love the contents inside. Okay, people out there are like, all right, be quiet, ladies. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right. So what's the first thing that we have in here? I love big, this stuff. Big, oh my goodness. Big, so this is a five ending. foot roll of what? This is a five foot roll of the Style Tech Opal. Yes. And this is in the color white. Now, it doesn't look like it's the color white, but that's the really great thing about the Opal is that they're color shifting colors. Um, so all of the colors just have a very unique um, coloring and texture to them. So depending on what the colors are around you, the colors that you're going to put the vinyl on, it can just give off a reflect a different reflective hue. They're so much fun to work with. I love those. Definitely. And this is a hefty amount for you to try out. I would love love this you could decorate some tumblers i think this would be really cool um as a car decal because it will oh, catch the yes. sunlight and show you the different color shifts i yes. think that would be a lot of fun kelly says i love the opal so pretty i love it too yes and it comes in so many different colors so um this is not white is not the only option so um if you love the opal then definitely let us know because then maybe you'll see a different color option in a future mystery a future mystery box that gives us a lot to go off of but one of my favorite um, adhesive vinyls question on instagram how much are the monthly mystery boxes so that is a great question and the price actually varies um, mm -hmm. depending on the contents of the mystery box so it's kind of hard to give you an e estimate but so far what are the price ranges megan for the um, mystery boxes they have ranged from 45 dollars to 60. Um, to 60. And that's what we're trying to keep it as. Um, lately, like they've that. been about 50, 55 bucks. Right, because awesome. if you did not know, we have free shipping on all orders, $50 and over. So we think it's a good idea to um, 
price those mystery boxes at at least $50. Um, so that you guys can qualify for free shipping as well and that's still that's a major discount off of the contents inside always Yes, so. because we are definitely um, discounting the mystery boxes the retail value and the price of the box that you um, Are paying are never going to be the same. We're always going to give you a great value uh, for that mystery box so. Yes, all right, so we've got our beautiful opal. This is a lot of fun. I'm happy that that was included Love that stuff. Yes so springy too. I like that yes. for the spring. So what do we have? Oh, here we go here. So this is our Starcraft Magic. This is, um, if you're familiar with Starcraft Magic, it is like a holograph, a holographic adhesive vinyl that we carry. It comes in a few different styles. Yes. Um, this is our Deceit Glitter in the color silver. This is one of the tamer ones, I think, because we got some crazy holographics going on, and they look so good when they're cut. Definitely. And this one looks to me like the most like glitter. Yes, so I know I know we have a lot of people that love working with our glitter HTV, our glitter adhesive, um, like I know our Style Tech glitter adhesive, um, yes. but the Starcraft Magic is a lot of fun and it cuts really easily. I've never had any trouble working with this stuff. Um, it's always a breeze to work with. And like we said, um, we're going to start doing more of our Facebook Live crafts based on our mystery boxes. So if you've never used this um, Deceit Glitter before, then um, we will do some things and, you know, cut it up. That way you can see what it looks like as a decal, either on a cup or, you know, whatever we decide to put it on. Is that um, something you guys would be interested in? Maybe. Yes. Um, after we do each mystery box unboxing, would you like us to plan out our upcoming lives according to what was, you know, in the mystery box? I think that would be a cool idea. I will say, I think I know someone had commented um, earlier in the live. They were asking if you guys could show, like, how to use some of the stuff in there. Absolutely. Um, and yeah. then on other um, stuff on Facebook, I've seen comments asking if okay. you guys could do that. Yeah, we can, we can totally do that for you guys. I'm going to start moving some of this stuff. Okay. So on to our printed pattern, our holiday theme. These are our shamrocks um, right in time for St. Patrick's Day. So um, if you don't know about our printed patterns, we have, I don't even know how many printed patterns we carry on our website because we add new printed patterns, it seems like every week. Mm -hmm. So um, speaking of, if you guys ever want to see a particular pattern added to our website, um, that's something that we have full control over, so you can always put in a good word for us and we can try and find something similar to what you're looking for. Yes, so this is our shamrock. Is that the name of this one, the shamrock? Green shamrock. So you can find that on our website. Not only, this is adhesive, but not only is it available in adhesive, it's also available in HGV. So mm -hmm. if you're one that likes to go out for St. Patrick's Day and match your shirt to your tumbler, we got you. <laughs> I'm glad that we included some adhesive though, and we also included... Woo! Yes. Okay. So this is the Style Tech Etch in blue. So we did we did a couple lives using the etch, but if you're not familiar with this, um, when you cut this vinyl, it's it's kind of like a thin film, um, and when you but you cut it just like your regular adhesive vinyl, and you apply this on glass, like on a glass uh, mug or glass. glass block, wine glass, whatever, and it gives you that etched vinyl feel without all of the chemicals and smells and everything like that. So um, typically, when you do like the etching cream and stuff, it comes in silver. And you know, there are ways to dye it, but it's so much easier if you're using the etch vinyl. This comes in different colors also. So yeah. I think that's a great option. Yeah. It gives you a very similar look to just straight up etching your glass yes. and it's so much easier. Love the etch vinyl. Like it's wedding season, Randy. Yes, that's so yes. <laughs> we should have made you right. some, some wine glasses for your wedding because this stuff looks so good and I know a lot of people use it for like wedding gifts and different things like that. So that's perfect. Okay. Yep. And application tape. So oh not just one, but two 12 by 24. 
So we talk about transfer tape all the time. We have our favorites, um, but we all of the transfer tapes that we carry on our website, we've used before mm -hmm. and we love. Mm -hmm. We have um, different favorites for different reasons, but the Caesar PSV application tape. It's good all across the board. So I think it's good for pretty much any project you got coming at you. Yes, so. very similar to like the blue grid that we mm -hmm. carry. So if you like the blue grid, um, you may want to give this a try and if you got the mystery box then fantastic because um, you'll get to try a new transfer tape and see um, this may be become your new favorite yes so we've got two sheets there for you to work with all your beautiful adhesive and then last but not least we have our star Max 900 stencil film and this is the 12 by 24 in mint and you know what this is great for spring spring is up and coming and we, you can make some some porch signs, Definitely. some doormats with yes. this stuff. So, what what? How do you use this stencil film? So, um, the stencil film is going to be used. For, I know a lot of people use um, the regular adhesive vinyl as their stencil when they're making signs, um, but this. This particular um, stencil vinyl was created for that purpose. So now that you have a sheet, go ahead and try this on your next uh, wood sign and let us know how you like it, wood, glass, whatever it is that you're gonna be painting on. So you're almost gonna weed the opposite way, you're gonna weed away what you want to paint. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're going to use your sheet of transfer tape there and transfer it to your wood sign and then you're gonna just paint in within your stencil. Um, we wanna do another porch sign for you all here, especially in the spring. And so we have a few tips and tricks on how to get, make sure that your paint doesn't bleed and other things that we've learned from doing these port signs. So that'll be fun coming up. But this yes. is, we'll definitely um, be testing this. We can test this versus the adhesive and see yeah. which one, um, if there's any difference to using them on wood signs. That might be something interesting to do. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I saw Tiffany say, what in the world is stencil film? I hope that answered your question. If <laughs> <laughs> and I saw a comment on Instagram. What kind of stencil vinyl is it? So this is the again the Star Mask 900 stencil film. So um, if you are if you're painting any wood signs or I know some people use it for glass and different things like that also. So. Um, if you're using regular vinyl as your stencil now and you have the mystery box or you just want to order some and try it out yourself, I think this will be great. <laughs> we've, we've got some drama going down in the <laughs> Facebook comments over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are getting into our heat transfer, everyone, and I already see some exciting stuff here. Yes, it looks like, I mean, this looks like a great deal for Woo! heat transfer vinyl. What yes. a whole roll. Yes. Oh my good. Oh, this is adhesive vinyl. Okay. okay so this is. There is some <laughs> adhesive stuck into the heat transfer roll. So this is our rose gold. You got a five yard of the matte rose gold. And this is the Starcraft HD. So this is our high durability adhesive vinyl. And this is the stuff that we rave about all the time. If yes. you have not tried it, please try it. Yes. Please try the Starcraft. It's a beautiful color, a lot for you to try out here. I guess I should have taken it out of the package, I mean, right? <laughs> I guess I should have done color, that. Everyone. Woo. Look at that. It looks so good. It looks like a polished metal almost. Yes. I this really is our Starcraft that. HD matte in the rose gold. So it has that nice matte finish. We love that stuff. It cuts and weaves so beautifully. The smallest cuts work so well with the StarCraft HD. That's how it became our favorite because mm -hmm. um, before we used to have like a little bit of trouble when you're weeding and you know one piece is coming up with another piece and and um, the smaller the design got, the, hard, the more intricate it was to weed, but we love the StarCraft HD. All right, what do we All got right, now here? we're into adhesive, so. It looks like we've got some electric red yes. right off the bat. It's electric. I always oh, want to no. sing, I always want to sing electric slide. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Caesar um, electric in red. The colors that we have in the Caesar electric line, fantastic colors. I, I mean. I see just this beautiful sheen here. I love the electric because it, it has, 
you know, you have just right off the bat really beautiful colors. My favorite is the peacock teal. If you guys want to go and check that one out on our website, it's beautiful. Um, but it just has that little splash of electric sheen to it. And I think it really just spices up any design. It's great to um, make any electric Pokemon shirts if you're looking to do that. <laughs> Anyone that out is there? a good one. <laughs> that was a great color to use for Valentine's, but with yeah. 4th of July, the 4th of July coming up. Very true. We have um, we have a few electric colors that are perfect for Fourth of July. So um, we may see that in another mystery box down the road. So if you use it all up, don't worry. Yes, that's a really good thing to keep on hand. And then we also have some Beautiful. purple metal. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is another really beautiful kind of reflective HTV here. It's gonna have a big shiny pop when you press it onto your shirt and a really cool thing about this is the more that you press it um you can how would you describe the way that it looks with each press it, it almost it dulls the shine a little bit but it does it in a way that it almost looks um more like brushed metal which is anything. really cool yeah um but it's just another thing to keep in mind if you are working with the metal um, and you're maybe working with other layers as well. Just make sure that your metal is the last press if you want it to keep its full amount of shine. But also it's cool to press it multiple times and make it look really brushed. I think that looks yeah. awesome. You can get, um, with every press, your design is going to look a little bit different. So we actually did a metal shirt not too long ago and it was three different colors with metal. Mm -hmm. And I wanted it, we were making a Captain America shirt, so I wanted it to be as shiny as it possibly could be <laughs> with having all three layers there. Yeah, so we shiny. had to make sure that it, we got all three layers in one press she made up her own hat i mean maybe it's out there in the in the world of youtube and crafting but i thought it was genius what she ended up doing so maybe we'll have to do a whole live devoted to um our metal and show you guys how to keep that perfect shine because marina figured it out <laughs> and it only took me two days but <laughs> we, we finally got it and the shirt came out amazing we love the way that it looked so if you do um want to know about layering with the metal but trying to keep that shine from the original press let us know comment and we will do a live on how we made that happen sorry i keep laughing but <laughs> it's because the next sheet you're about to show uh -huh. y'all's is reflections in it oh like i know snapchat it's, it's, filter it's all over and that's all i can see <laughs> it makes me giggle it sure is shining down here. So this is the showstopper, in my opinion. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hot new it's item so also. We have not had the um, holo these holographic colors in for very long at all. So this is the Rainforest Pearl. And look at that. Amazing. It's like eight different colors in one sheet of vinyl, guys. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's another one that we probably um, want to make sure, um, see what it looks like after several presses and see how we want to design our image to see, do we want to get it all in one press? Do we like how it looks with multiple presses? But this, these colors, and you can see on the back, this is how you know it's the rainforest when you go to order. Turn it around and look at the colors on the back because the reflections, again, these pick up what's around in the room, the lights and everything. I can see a lot of green, but if I hold it this way, all I see is orange. I was gonna say, yeah, like the way that you guys are on front camera, it looks like the greenish blue, but on overhead, it's more yellow and orange. Yeah, which is crazy cool, guys. <laughs> I love this stuff. We love that about the holographic line. So, um, um, Jacqueline says, yes, please. I would love a video. I'm assuming referring to our metal To video. the metals. Okay. Cool. Honestly, maybe we should just recreate our Captain America shirt because that turned out beautiful. It did. And I'm sure there's some Marvel fans out there. <laughs> um, and it's a good way to demonstrate this technique for you guys. Megan said, I loved this vinyl. Yay. <laughs> and Lucy says try it out on a craft night on a craft night good idea and I missed another one and Lucy actually when we on um, when we did the two craft nights um, last month that was the first time we had ever done a craft night we always go live probably about 4 30 maybe 4 5 somewhere in that area um, but I feel like a lot of you all like the craft night so that's something fun that maybe we can do you know here and there that was awesome 
Um, oh, we got a few. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is it LA? Or, okay. I'm just going to call you LA. I vote to have a not so mystery box after the unboxing and for a smaller percentage um, of savings. Oh, that's an idea. So maybe make a few just available like after we do the unboxing for yeah. someone that didn't have an opportunity to get it and then saw the unboxing and want the items inside. Or maybe even like a bundle. That's what I was going to say. Maybe just have like a separate um, box kind of like a bundle box. We'll show you a list of like all the contents inside on the purchase screen so that you guys can yeah. just know exactly what you're getting into. But I also like the idea of like just kind of adding more in stock after we do the unboxing. That's good a good idea. idea. Good yeah, idea. Thank you. And someone asks, how do you press it on? Which vinyl are you, are you referring to? Are you referring to the holographic? Yeah, let us know um, which one. And then they're all pretty similar um, with regular HTV. The temperatures will vary and the amount of pressure will vary as well as the time that you press for. I'm going to turn this over because <laughs> I look like I have a green double chin right about now. <laughs> but we do have a document on our website and it does give you um, some instructional information about the vinyls that we sell including temperature, time, and pressure. Um, and that's always a great place to start because uh, as we always say, you know, especially like for cut settings, they could vary by your machine and the yes. age of your blade. Um, and then, you know, temperature, your heat press, you know, is it calibrated to the correct heat? Does it run a little hot? So we always say that these uh, kind of give you a place to start mm -hmm. and then um, you can work from there. But um, I did see she specified the holographic. So what you okay. want to do with this, a good place to start is going to be preheating your garment for two to three seconds. You want to set your heat press to 320 degrees and press your holographic for about 15 to 20 seconds. And the big thing to keep in mind is that this stuff is a cold peel. So after you press yeah. it, just make sure that you let your car your garment cool down completely before peeling it away and revealing your design. Yeah. But and it's pretty easy to work with. And if you if it's a cold peel and you forget that, you'll know when you go to peel it and it's not coming off. <laughs> that will be like a clue for you to just kind of any and with any of the cold peels, that's all that's how I remember. If I've forgotten, oh wait, let this cool. When I go to pull it, if it's not coming off right away, then I know but maybe I need to check the settings and let this yes. thing cool down. Yeah. It might not stick in, in all the different places of your shirt unless it's cooled down completely. So just make sure that you remember that. Yeah. Almost forgot, there's one more thing. And this, oh my goodness, we almost forgot this one. And this is probably the most fun. Yes, and you have a whole pack. <laughs> what is this stuff? A whole pack of the StarCraft for dark materials. Woo! This stuff is amazing. And Woo. the best part about it is you don't even need a cutting machine to use it. So um, if you are, if you like to put pictures on your uh, garments, on your tote bags, on any type of material, canvas, we've done it on canvas before. Yeah, yes, that was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. This is perfect for you. All you need is your inkjet printer. Could you try again? Uh, okay. Okay. Siri. I'm down. So this stuff, <laughs> this stuff isn't specific um, to dark materials. It's just um, like for the dark materials, you can press it on light colored shirts or dark colored shirts, which is why I tend to um, use this a little bit more than the light materials because it's so versatile in that way. Um, but it comes with the application instructions on the front of your packet. We've also done a few lives on it and we have a tutorial on our website if I'm not mistaken. Just make sure you have an inkjet printer to print your pictures out with. And someone says, oh, um, canvas, I like that. It, oh, that was so much fun. I know. <laughs> Siri, my watch is always doing something. Every time we go live, my watch goes a little bit crazy. Um, I love StarCraft brand HTV. We do too. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh, I love our soft flex so much, guys. It's so beautiful. Um, Lucy asks, where can I find the blade setting for my silhouette? Um, if we want to go to laptop really quick, I can show them, Megan. Okay. Yep. So here is our homepage here, if you guys can see this fine you see this resources tab here at the top of the screen if you go to our instructions and specifications it's going to bring up a lot of good information for you guys so the top one here is going to be our cut settings 
will have it separated by adhesive and HTV. And then it's going to bring up this beautiful chart here for you. And you'll see we've got the silhouette settings, cricket settings, and e even the brother scan and cut. So that's good. We kind of separate it by material as well. And so, over on Instagram, if you all are ever looking for our cut settings, <laughs> just head to our website, yes. look under our resources tab, and all that information is available for you. Uh, but we also like to, if you have questions about different vinyls and you want to see them used, uh, then just let us know, and then we can do a live. We enjoy doing that. Tiffany says, I should be cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for hanging out with us. I think that was a super fun unboxing. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what we have in store for our next Kennedy and Marina mystery box and as well as our April mystery box. We will be back for an unboxing for that one as well. Um, we don't have a specific date for our next box yet, but we yeah. are working on it and we should get it out to you guys pretty shortly here Yo, in your We put future. a lot of thought into the we mystery do. box. We Probably. want to make sure that you're going to love it and yes. then you're going to love the crafts that we selected to kind of go along with it. It's a lot of pressure. So <laughs> we just, we want to take our time to make sure that we have, and that we have enough of everything. Um, so, but we definitely will get those out as soon as we can and y'all be the first to know as soon as they hit the website. Yes, but hopefully we answered all of your questions about our upcoming mystery boxes. We're so happy that you guys are enjoying them so much. Um, we have a lot of fun putting them together for you guys. Um, I think we have another live coming up. Wednesday. Wednesday? Yep. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'll probably, like I said, we're going to start doing, I think, a new series um, to where after we do our mystery box unboxing, our next lives after that are going to be um, incorporating some of the products inside. So stay tuned for that. Um, Megan says, is it cold up there in Georgia? It's cold um, <laughs> for the first two hours of the morning, like yeah. really cold. You want to bundle up. And then by around 11 a.m., it's going to feel like summertime. And then by 5 p.m., it's going to feel like winter again. So yeah, I have no idea why I'm wearing this sweater, but um, when I left my house, it was cold. So that's all I can say. <laughs> it comes in waves. But thank you to everyone who joined us today. This was a lot of fun. We're glad to be back, and we will see you guys for our next video. Grab your mystery box and join us. Bye. Bye.